one, two, a one, two, three. I'm singer, pianist, and composer Brenda Earl Stokes, and my new album is called Motherhood. Yes, Motherhood shares the journey of motherhood with songs exploring identity, fear, expectations, body image, friendship, and growth. I composed the first song of this project when I was pregnant with my son and I was starting to ponder the real change that was about to take place in my life. When my son was little, I pushed our stroller all around for hours and hours in our New York City neighborhood, all the time jotting down little ideas and thoughts in my journal and singing little song excerpts into the voice memos on my phone. After several years of collecting all this material, I realized that there was really something to this and that it was time for me to actually see if I could turn this into some kind of musical work. In 2019, I was super excited to be invited to the BAMP Center for Arts and Creativity in Alberta, Canada, where I was going to come in and see if I could make a crack at turning this project into something. And in nine days, I was able to compose eight of the songs that ended up on this record. Who am I now? The music is very much written in my native language of jazz and uses a lot of the harmonic language and lots of improvisation of jazz, but it also borrows from a lot of other song forms that are very meaningful to me as an artist. We did our first performance of the music in January of 2020 and there was such a lovely response. And in the spring of 2020, we were scheduled to go into the studio and record it. But of course, we all know how that story went. During COVID, it was impossible for me to even think about the work I was doing because my responsibilities as a mom during the pandemic and the fact that I was homeschooling my son and trying to teach and make a living meant that I had to table this project and I felt like it would never be made. But in 2023, I decided it was time for me to actually get down to business and get this music together. The open door, the endless way. I was thrilled to get to work with some of my absolute favorite musicians on this project and was very proud that my usual trio was available to um, participate. Evan Greger plays bass on this. He adds so many beautiful um, layers to the music and it was great to be able to get Ross Peterson who is a drummer um, and had been on many tours uh, this same year with Manhattan Transfer. And then always on my vision board for this project was Ingrid Jensen. She is somebody who has obviously inspired me so much as a composer and as a performer, but she also has a child who is about a year older than mine. And so when I was a young mom, seeing her being able to do all these amazing things and still be an amazing mother um, was just so exciting for me to be able to get involved in the project. Several songs on the album are also rounded out by two of my favorite singers of all time, Nicole Zoraitis, who's just got nominated for her second Grammy, and one of my very dearest, longest friends of all time, Melissa Stiliano, who is not only one of my favorite singers, but is my best mom friend, um, and our sons are, are good friends together. So it meant a lot to me to have her voice on this record as well. We recorded on October 8th and 9th in 2023 at Samurai Hotel Studios in Queens, New York. Chris Allen engineered the entire recording. He mixed it and he mastered it because he's got the best ears in the business and is seriously one of the nicest people I've ever met. So he really made this process really easy to do. The Motherhood album for me is a pretty big departure from what I usually do. All of my albums to date have been a mix of sort of my eclectic influences as a musician. Lots of jazz standards, um, you know, writing original lyrics for existing instrumental songs. I always like to borrow some interesting um, influences from like rock radio and from my favorite songwriters and I've always written my own music. But this is the first album that I've ever written that is all original music. 
and that's been a really exciting and a little scary <laughs> process to be really diving deep into myself to see what I can really share about my own experience. Motherhood, the album, is a collection of stories, experiences, um, full of laughter with some tears, some frustration, some angst, and overall is a really positive and mother-centered record. As the once male-dominant jazz industry becomes more inclusive and more women's voices are getting to be heard, it's very exciting for me to be able to tell the story of motherhood, to be able to step into the parts of my life um, that generally haven't really been represented in an artistic way in the jazz industry. And so it's so exciting for me to get to share this work in this way with you. Fear and the pain.